The reason for being with you is to honour and remember that firm treaty that my predecessors made with you 281 years ago. Yes, there were times when we broke our promises. Some of you were sent to Nova Scotia, to Liberia, but the memory lingers on. And in this world today, we should remind ourselves of the sanctity of treaties between sovereign nations. Hey peeps, it's your Blessed e. Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed e. Gaza Diva channel. And people, Richard Corey exposed Andrew Holness calling the Maroons a sovereign country. I thought he said they weren't. Anyway, people, when we get back, we to look into it, we're going to talk about it. Let's kick it. We're here for you live. This is Zip 103. Before I get into the Maroon story, let me show you what Andrew Holness should be interested in and caring about my wife they killed her they killed her because of their negligence they killed my wife i'm not gonna forget this ever 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 god know they killed my wife how am I gonna tell my daughter? Oh, how, oh, how, oh, how? Oh. Christopher Tufton, or Christopher Tufton, or whatever stiff tongue, or whatever you put in the medical field back in that ministry, ain't doing his job. For those of you who missed it, your prime minister. Yes, your Prime Minister, your Prime Minister had this to say to the Maroons on Sunday when he addressed the country. Anyway, let's get to the video. Jamaica is a unitary, sovereign state. And under my leadership, not one inch of Jamaica will come under any other sovereign authority. Let me give this disclaimer. Just like how I love Vibes Cartel, there are a lot of people on the internet who loves Andrew Holness. Contra Noseness is loved by many YouTubers. And they think that they can fool the people sometime. But they can't fool all the people all the time. The Maroons are sovereign. And you can twist it. And you can dice it. You have to live with it. So we skip to the article now that the Contra Man had posted in 2019. That Richard Curry posted. On this day, 281 years ago, Captain Kojo proudly stood and watched as emissaries of the defeated British forces ascended to a compound to sign a treaty that would establish the community as on equal standing with the then British-led government. The treaty was between two sovereign nations underlined and surrendered to the Maroons of the Akongpong townlands with defined borders and agreed political establishments. Today we celebrate a man who understood his mission and purpose as the freedom of his people and their right to self-determination. Let us, like Kojo, rise up to action in the interest of our people. Being with you is to honor and remember that firm treaty that my predecessors made with you 281 years ago. Yes, there were times when we broke our promises some of you were sent to Nova Scotia, to Liberia, but the memory lingers on. And in this world today, we should remind ourselves of the sanctity of treaties between sovereign nations. And we should never forget that when one country gives its bond to another, people are watching, history is watching, and we have to remember every divergence from that. We spoke today also about the future, for the history cannot just live in the past. History is alive, you keep it alive, but we need a future where our planet is looked after, our people are looked after, and that we deal with each other. With Richard Curry titled it, at Andrew Holness, JM. It seems that when it is convenient to look glamorous, you say things to impress people. The reality is that you know the hashtag Maroons are sovereign, and we know we are sovereign. You yourself accepted and expressed this on January 6th, 2019, with the British High Commissioner, Governor General, and the Maroon people all present to witness this international affirmation in a Kongpong town cockpit country. Maroons are not a terrorist group nor a gang. We are the descendants of the island's first people. 
We fought to maintain our sovereignty and won. Unfortunately, Jamaica is not a unitary sovereign state, but rather a constitutional monarchy. And sadly, you are not the king of this monarchy, but rather a member of the Queen's court. You are bound by your superiors' agreement. See Article 4, Jamaica Constitution. <laughs> and the article reads, Legal Maxim. Notice to agent is notice to principal. Notice to principal is notice to agent. I hope the new legal and constitutional affairs ministry will brief you on the facts. The Maroons have demanded and continue to demand an apology. Communication is to diplomacy as blood is to the human body. Whenever communication ceases, the body of international politics, the process of diplomacy is dead and the result is disastrous. Hashtag United Nation. Hashtag UNDRIP. Human rights. Hashtag treaty. SOS. Richard Curry is a receipt man and I've come to understand that and we must salute him. He's been strong, resolute. He only speaks. Notice him when it is required. Anyway, he continued on this post. Keynote addressed by the most honorable Andrew Owens, ON, MP, Prime Minister at the Sovereign State of Hong Kong. He then made another post and it read, Celebration of the signing of the treaty with the British and the birthday of Captain Kojo on January 6th, 2019. Richard then titled it, this was an official national media release by the Jamaican government and published by JIS in 2019. Note the use of the word sovereign by JIS. And who did the keynote address? None other than your Prime Minister, Andrew Holness. Now, people, I don't know how Andrew is going to get around this one and his little cronies. There are a lot of Andrew Ninjas in the comment section, but apparently you don't realize what my name says. It says Gasadiva for a reason. You don't intimidate me. Nothing that you say can irritate my spirit. All I'm saying to you is Andrew Holness, just a foot of hype's point, recently needs to resign like yesterday. Hashtag resignation of Andrew Holness. Andrew Holness cannot run this country. Under no circumstance can you say to people who have fought for a land that you have confirmed in writing, verbally, and attended sessions. Andrew, you don't know how stupid you look. All we saw on Sunday, ego, anger, hatred, jealousy, frustration. You hear that? Play that back and listen to it again. That's all we saw as a nation. You are so angry at the Maroons that you allowed your emotions to seep through. And the funny thing about it is just three days earlier, you were crying on a podium. Why? Why? Andrew, you are the why in this country. You are the why in this country. You don't have to prove anything to us. One morning when you wake up, look into the mirror, look at yourself, do a playback of history in your head, run through the things you've done, and then you will be able to understand what we are facing at a, as a people. I have a clip and a throwback of everything you have said in the past that you've not delivered on, and a picture of everything you begged for and clamored for leadership is this what you wanted the leadership to do to run the country or grind the country to a halt you're trying to stop our productivity you are trying to stop the little bit of camaraderie that's left you've taken it away by your non-efficiencies or lack thereof in fighting crime you have no strategy other than the chinaman and the chinaman has no strategy other than what you Constantly argue over SOEs. Leave the Maroons alone. They are a sacred people. They are a sovereign group. Leave them alone. It is not just this guerrilla war that you're talking about. How dare you even go to a podium and speak to war? You're so angry and bitter. 
that you can't even look within yourself and see that all we saw was ego and you were just so you were just so mad i think you're jealous of the maroons matter of fact i know you're jealous of the maroons it is alleged that you want the land for mining based on what andre says there might be so much truth to that because every day you prove it more and more. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts or down below in the comment section. As per usual, we'll have a discussion. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out. And we should never forget that when one country gets its bond to another, people are watching. History is watching. And we have to remember every divergence from that.